Hello YouTube and welcome to the next text launch video with a brand new Apple iPhone 6s Plus. This time we are doing the installation. We install the SIM card, do the setup tour, check out how much free storage we got and play a little bit around with the device. But first of all, let's open our SIM card tray on the old phone. Get your SIM card tray opener get your old phone or your new sim card locate the sim card slot on the right side and get your sim card out so there we go put in the tray that you won't lose it and then we open it on the new phone exact same location on the right side pull the sim card tray out again and then we have to check out where is the edge the edge is up there so chip down and back into the iPhone there we go and then we turn the device on the on off button is on the right side push it push it push it and there we go Apple screen boots up no vibration here we only see our bright screen with the Apple design uh, nothing new here everything looks the same also the screen screen looks okay uh, no pixels here also no no mistakes or damage in things brightness lightning uh, looks uh, great too so the illumination so let's swipe and now choose your language English select your country Germany okay oh we already got our 4G LTE connection here and battery should be around 85% next thing choose Wi-Fi network uh, use mobile connection so you can skip this step but I'm at home I got my Wi-Fi so, so I will connect to my Wi-Fi it may take a few minutes to activate your phone no activation is done we are ready for the next step location services enable them of course I want to use maps and all the stuff find my phone and 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 touch ID so this is a fingerprint sensor yes let's use touch ID set up touch ID no 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 uh, not later continue I want to set up touch ID uh, let's go back one step okay touch ID touch the home button to register your fingerprint okay make sure you cover the ring that your finger is and that your finger is dry okay so let's uh, just put your finger on, on the home screen and lift it don't push just put place it on the home button and now adjust your grip keep going to capture the edges uh, of your print so just move your finger a little bit around so that's a, uh, that you can unlock your phone from different angles so and so just move it a little bit okay complete we are done continue now create a passcode touch id pro so if you lose your finger or your finger is wet or you can't use your finger or someone else has to unlock your device now you need a passcode uh, this is new with ios 9 you need a six digit passcode uh, which i think will make uh, touch id really really a good alternative so let's uh, get the really good passcode. Let's try one, two, three, four, five, and six. This is so use code. Are you sure you want this code? This code is commonly used and can be easily guessed. Yes, I want to use it and create a passcode. Re-enter the same code. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is nice and we are done. Now I get the chance to apps and data. Do I want to restore from an old phone backup maybe i did a backup from my last year's iphone or two, two years ago iphone or just got another device then i could restore this backup uh, either via icloud or via itunes for my mac or pc or uh, there is another thing i can use it as a brand new phone without any backup and the fourth thing this is really nice move data from android so if you're switching from android there's an app for that uh, but we won't do this we will just use it as a or set it up as a new iphone and the next step i have to register myself with my apple id so that i can use all the apple services download new apps and all do all the stuff so register put in your apple id before restoring um, yes continue but we 
uh, won't restore anything. So now I have to agree to the terms and conditions. This is nice. Apple is giving you the terms and condition at the end when you are done with all the thing and uh, you can't you can't do anything else. You can't if you want to use this device, you have to agree. There is no real choice. Now, if you were using iCloud Keychain with your Apple ID, you can activate it or deactivate to that that you get all your passwords and credit card information and all the secure stuff directly on your no device. You can use this or you don't, but I, this is a nice feature and I approve from other devices. Yes, I want to use this. And then approve request sent. So you need to get your another Apple device like, like your iPhone, like iPad, your iPod and uh, have to, you have to confirm this, that this is okay, that the new iPhone 6s Plus can use those data. Diagnostics, do you want to send those to Apple or not? I don't. Now, it's, a it's explaining you display zoom. Choose how you would like to view iPhone. Zoom shows larger texts and control. Standard fits more on screen. So, you got standard and you got juice, uh, zoomed. And oh, you can you can click it and to get an uh, f first uh, yes, the icons are definitely bigger. But I will just use standard. Oh, you can look here. You can really uh, ch uh, compare both both things next to it and each other. But I want standard. And now, welcome to iPhone. Get started. There we go. Whoa! So brand new device, brand new f message from my carrier. They are getting the connections and brand new device and notice on the big iPhone if you do, on the 16 gigabyte version uh, allow wallet to access your location location yes on the 16 gigabyte version I guess all the big iPhone apps won't be pre-installed like the Apple Office apps, uh, Pages, Keynote, GarageBand, Numbers and even iMovie is pre-installed we also got the watch app so the new device really comes with a lot pre-installed Apple apps. This is not has nothing to do anymore with the, with the first generation iPhone, where we got only a little a few apps and no app store, and now it's really pre-installed with a lot of stuff. First of all, let's check out settings uh, and then a general and find out how much storage on the 64 gigabyte version we still got left and use with 3.5 gigabytes available. 51.6 so 51.6 so a lot is already gone uh, because you have installed these big big apps GarageBand iMovie is around 1.4 uh, 2 gigabytes another 7 2.7 gigabytes are already full just because of those big apps but don't be afraid because you can delete them no, I just used. Ooh, how am I going to 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 get rid of apps? Because we got a new feature. Ah, you have to push. I push too hard. You just have to push uh, gentle to get those X's to be able to remove the things. And you see, all those apps you can't remove. Not yet. Maybe they will change it. But those are the apps that you can delete to get more storage, around three gigabytes. And now we got the new th feature was uh, force touch. Because now I can push the device wound, I get a vibration. The, the screen notice with how much force I'm pressing on the display, which is nice. So first impression, really nice. But let's find out about the camera, which is the new one. Allow camera to access your location while you use the app. Yes, of course, I want to use the GPS information. And there we go. The 12th, the new 12 megapixel camera on the backside, which should you be able to shoot really, really nice pictures. And just notice there's a new icon on top of here, which is the live photos. Uh, now, if you have the live photos activated with the standard settings on the iPhones, uh, your pictures will become twice as big and will uh, get an, maybe a nice neat feature. We have to figure this one out because now if you're using live photos, you will record a little video with 15 FPS frames per second. So not really smooth, but uh, you will record a video 1.5 seconds before you do the picture and 1.5 seconds after the picture so make really sure you're still holding your cam or your iphone sturdy so let's see and now we got this video or we got the picture and whoo there you can see it moving and you can hear me hear my voice so it's also audio Be able to shoot really really nice 
nice pictures. So, but this is one feature and it's standardly activated. So if you don't want them, deactivate it. Another thing is now video settings. And where are the video second settings? I can't change them here. I can't change the resolution uh, of the video because standardly the camera will record 1080p. But, 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 but there's more because the new 12 megapixel camera can also shoot uh, in 4K videos. And we just. Oh, there we go. It's a little bit hidden because it's in the settings and then you have to swipe down and it's photos and camera. So there are the camera settings iCloud library, no photo stream, upload photo burst, no, 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 no. There we go with the camera. So if you want to see this grid, those, those, um, let's see, this is now grid activated. There we get those lines that you can maybe center the photo or video an object, which is nice. And let's go back. And there we go. Record video. It's standardly install, uh, set on 1080p 50, 30 frames, but you can also go up to 60 frames or, and this is a nice one, 4K with 30 frames per second. There you can see how much storage is needed for one minute of video. Normally it's set to 130 megabytes and in 4K you get 357. So not, yes, around th uh, th uh, th uh, th <laughs> three times as much. Uh, record slow-mo, slow motion. You can also switch between 720p in 240 frames or 1080p in 120 frames. Um, let's let's get this, not yeah it's, let's get a bit better resolution and then HDR keep normal photo. What you can't switch or you can't change is the resolution of the front facing camera, which is also no now uh, because it's now uh, able to record full F 1080p full HD video, and I really don't know why uh, we can't change this. So let's take some, take some pictures. First impression is nice and fast and HDR saving is really, really, really fast. Um, and let's take some more pictures, not the live feature, but with HDR. Oh, you can't anymore automatically activate HDR. You've got only HDR auto or off. This is, this is, oh, let's see. Ah, it's only for the front facing camera. With the back uh, normal camera, you can activate HDR. And now let's see how fast this will be saved. Oh, this is fast. Ah, it still takes a little bit longer to save an HDR picture than a non-HDR picture, but overall should be fine. And yes, the big iPhone or the new iPhone 6s Plus still rotates your screen, but uh, it really don't, doesn't matter because there are not much apps that really uh, support horizontal using of the app or give you some special more features like, for example, the Apple Mail app. So this is it. This is a quick tour and a quick hands-on with the new Apple iPad. Let's do uh, check. Woo, this is loud. Let's check the the, uh, the touch ID, which is fast. Woo, this is really fast. Definitely fast. You don't. And keep in mind, you just push the button, lift your you, and don't push it, release it, but don't lift your finger. This is the fastest way to unlock your device. Even faster than swiping, putting and do all doing all the stuff. This is really start and it's a nice way to start your iPhone and. Uh, especially you don't have to move your finger a little bit around to grab the on off button here. So this is it. First impression. Really, really nice. I really have to figure out what force idea, force touch or, or 3D touch can do for you. Um, ooh, most recent you can just uh, start, um, don't start the app, but push on like the photo app and then swipe down and go to most recent. And you get to the most recent picture, which is nice. Let's see. Ooh, so you don't have to swipe. You don't have to hard press and then uh, swipe. You can hard press, lift your finger and then choose your, the up option you wanted to use. So this is it. Really nice. First impression. Yes, the device is 20 grams heavier than the old iPhone 6S, uh, 6 Plus. As, but the 6S feels also nice. Yes, it feels a little more heavy, but it's still okay in combination to its size. So first impression, I'm really, really 
liking the device and I'm hopefully looking really forward now because we got two gigabytes of storage, of memory, of RAM, um, that the device will run a lot smoother and won't reload apps and uh, Safari pages that often. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.